the other thing I want to talk about in some detail is the unconscious mind. And again, Freud's topographical idea of the mind, there were three levels. There's the conscious, the pre-conscious, and the unconscious. Everybody says subconscious today, but that was not a term Freud used. The conscious is what we're discussing right now, quite easy. The pre-conscious is if I ask you your birth date, well, suddenly it's right there. It's moved from your pre-conscious into your conscious. It's accessible. And then there's the unconscious. And again, Freud used the idea of an iceberg as to describe it where this, the tip sticks out, which is the conscious and the pre-conscious. And the bulk of what's going on is unconscious, is submerged below the surface. It's my belief that every word we choose, every action we take is unconsciously motivated. Uh, it's sort of hard to get your arms around that. And if that's correct, then accessing the unconscious and being able to understand it better is very helpful. You know, some ideas of, some stories actually I'll give you of uh, unconscious communication. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is a woman I've worked with for many years, an elderly woman, who suffers from Crohn's and irritable bowel syndrome. Years into the treatment, she says, by the way, I was raised in Flushing, New York. And I hear the word Flushing. And I almost burst into laughter and I said, tell me about your years in Flushing. There's got to be a clue there, uh, which of course she does. Uh, I was given once a, a patient went to the Freud Museum in London and brought me a gift. They, bring me, they brought me eyeglass cleaners with a picture of Freud on them. So to me, I was hearing two things. One, I'm not seeing something in this case. Clean your, clean your vision, pal. And two, see it like Freud. So uh, it, was, it, you know, it was great. Uh, we, one of the other things we talk about unconscious communication uh, is why something may happen at the beginning of a session. The thought is what happened at the end of the last session because Freud said the unconscious doesn't know time. So if something is, appears to be triggered at the beginning of a session, I will always go back and think about how the last session ended. Um, Freud also said there's no such thing as an accident that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I was thinking about that this morning. I went out early this morning to start my car. It's dark. And I hit the unlock button, but no, I hit the lock button twice. So my horn honks. So I'm thinking, okay, that's an accident, but no, I must be angry with one of my neighbors. Why do I want to wake them and their family up so early this morning? So that's an example as well.